How would you define your networking? How do you network? Well, I try to maintain a healthy network uh, of professionals uh, and peers that um, can give me insights of, about the, the trends in technology on, or in governance, uh, IT governance, or uh, other topics uh, in which I am interested. I am a member of the Madrid chapter of the PMI, the Project Management Institute. We have uh, monthly meetings in which we discuss different topics uh, related to pro uh, project management. I am also a member of uh, several other network, uh, international networks, uh, for example, for, for smart cities, um, for uh, IoT, in which we share experiences about the projects uh, every, uh, each of us is, uh, are doing on the, uh, on the topics. I also um, go to many conferences and fairs about real estate and uh, open government and other uh, topics uh, related to, to the public, uh, applying technology uh, in the public sector. And uh, I keep in contact with many relevant, relevant professionals of some uh, of different areas um, so that I can uh, consult them uh, when I have uh, um, or when I need advice uh, for something that I'm going to, uh, um, something that I'm, I'm going to uh, <laughs> um, undertake. What do you think about online networking? Well, I think that networking on online mm, is another way of uh, keeping your network healthy or, or adding people to your network. I, but I believe that that should not be the only way you, you network. For, uh, I can give you an example. Um, uh, some of the people I have uh, uh, contact and we, uh, with, which, uh, with whom I share opinions and information about open government is people people I have never met face to face, but uh, the these these persons these people has given me really good information and insights on the projects uh, they are doing, and I have been able to apply some of this information to my own projects. But uh, also, I think online is just a part of uh, keeping a healthy and uh, valuable network. What changes do you think have you seen in your area in the last few years, and how have you been involved in those changes or making those changes? Well, I have seen a clear evolution of the position of a CIO. A few years ago, uh, a CIO was expected to have a strong technical foundation and m many times they were not invited to take part uh, uh, of the to be a part of the board of the or the steering committees um, even uh, a few years ago IT strategy was not embedded in business strategy now right now I believe that there's there's a change going on on how a CIO is uh, giving value to, to their companies. First, because they, they need to understand the business side and integrate their IT strategy into the business, into business strategy. So a CIO right now is expected to have uh, strong managerial skills. So um, maybe these strong technical foundations that uh, uh, they were expected to have are losing weight on uh, uh, the definition of uh, CIO, CIO right now. 
And I believe that some new positions uh, will arise, uh, li like a chief technology officer or chief security officer. Those positions will be working under the, or will, will, will be overseen by the CIO. But the CIO will be a relevant part of the board and a, a relevant member in the definition of business strategy. I like that answer. I think that's the best answer you've given me so far. Where do you see the challenges in the position that you're applying to? Well, one of the, I believe that one of the main challenges is that you have to understand very well the business of the business uh, CIO you are assessing or you're you're advising if you don't understand uh, the business and the sector the the their company work at or or have their, their activity um, you won't be able to give value to to them I think that one the the main challenge is to understand the business of the company the CIO you are advising uh, is, uh, is. How do you feel about relocation? You mean uh, of me moving to the UK? Yes. Well, I feel comfor comfortable with the idea. Um, I have lived in other cities uh, throughout Europe. I have spent mo some months in South America working in different projects. So um, for me, relocating to another country is, is, is not uh, a concern. Tell, uh, tell me about our company. Well, your company has earned a well-earned uh, uh, reputation for um, working on um, researches. Okay. Uh, for okay. Just check your hand. Can you mm. hear what you see? Okay. What you're doing in your hand? Mm. Is you've got that thing? Okay. It looks a bit. You know, like those people who've got. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Like a, a Muhammad Ali or something, uh, yeah. yeah. It's a little like that. Hmm. The hands on the table or the hole in them. Hmm. And then move your hand to say it, not just the... Maybe hmm. that comes out when you're trying to think of your yes. answer. Okay. Yes. So relax hmm. when you're ready. Answer again. Your company has a well-earned re reputation for leading research in trends in technology. The reports that you create in different areas of technology are, are a reference for CIOs all, all over the world. And mm, every, everyone I have talked to uh, says that uh, the environment created uh, at your company, the working environment, is uh, one of uh, excellent, based on excellence, talent, and innovation. So I think I believe that's uh, um, very engaging, uh, it's very uh, attractive. That's uh, that th that that is very attractive. Also, the um, having an, an uh, defined uh, method methodology on technology research is uh, sounds very interesting to me uh, because. Um, um, I have a deep understanding of different governance methodologies and frameworks and best practices, and uh, I would feel comfortable uh, with the method methodology you, you use. Comfortable. 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 That's it. Comfortable. Comfortable. How do you <coughs> feel about the salary package? Well, 
I have done some research. Mm. I, as you know, I, I work uh, uh, at the public sector, uh, at, at an agency of the, uh, at, I work in the public sector. Um, public sector salaries in Spain are about 20% lower than uh, in private sector. And also uh, in my research, it showed that uh, salaries in the, in the private sector in Spain were about 20% lower than than in U in UK for similar positions. So <coughs> I believe that the salary package you, you just mentioned uh, fits with, with the research I've done and uh, I feel comfortable with comfortable with, with it. Where do you see yourself in five years time? Well, I would like to, if I had the, the, the opportunity to have to take this position, I would like to keep growing inside uh, the company and showing how my, my experience and skills can help uh, grow, grow the business. So I would like to, in five years, I would love to, to uh, if there's a clear career path related to this position, I would love to uh, follow it. 